Zane going at it. Tony on one loss, Zane on one loss, one win. Uh, so, yeah, it's been close. We're gonna do best of nine as usual. Let's uh, let's get things going here. Let's get things going. This is exciting because Zane, we saw Zane versus Ed, and he five zero Ed Iver. He did. He did. He did. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another round of the Blitz World Series. Yeah, I, I, I think, uh, I think honestly, uh, I, I'm feeling pretty, pretty confident about Zane. Um, I think so. Zane got. Zane got slapped around a little bit by uh, Berg. He came into the tournament thinking that he didn't need to practice. Berg slapped him around, uh, and Zane didn't like that. So then Zane has come out since then uh, looking really strong, um, and Zane crushed Ed, and Ed's a very experienced Blitz player. So I think Zane's looking really strong. I'm not sure how much. I, I just feel like Tony really hasn't been practicing as much as Zane, and I think uh, I'm pretty confident in Zane. How are you feeling, Snark? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, we saw Tony go versus Ed, and Ed actually beat Tony, and then we saw, we, earlier, we saw Zane go versus Ed, and Zane beat Ed, so logically, if Zane beats Ed and Ed beats Tony, technically Zane should win this, but sometimes it's about style, sometimes it's about surprises, sometimes it's about thinking outside the box. As Tony has his first Rhino out, we see him go War Factory first, Zane went three oils first instead, so a bit of a different strategy here, and uh, let's see if Zane could hold on to this pressure, you know, if he could hold on with this pressure. Yeah, this will be interesting to see uh, against the Soviet. Ooh, early drone, so Tony can counter that by grabbing the pumpkin. Oh, but Zane gets in, so Zane drones and grabs the pumpkin. That was a really heads-up move. Nice. The pumpkin will counter the drone, so if you want drone action, you need to uh, you need to be able to keep track of the pumpkin. And I like this from Zane. I love this move. We've seen a lot of players shifting the meta towards a heavy economy, a lot of oil early on. We've seen it really pay off late game, and uh, the big thing is you just got to hold on. So I think if you're doing it, bringing out some drones, um, uh, I would like to see Tony be baiting some pillboxes, baiting some sentries, trying to slow Zane down. When you're up on tanks, uh, I mean, yeah, you gotta try to be making something happen. Now Zane out with some conscripts, and Zane looking comfortable and on a lot of oil. Um, yeah, and as you see, so Tony's only one behind on Dirix, technically, but you'll see financially uh, Zane is 4K and Tony is uh, bottoming out, which is going to slow down his production. Uh, he's on two War Factories, which he's just not really able to sustain right now, but we'll see. He is out tanking him. We'll see what he can make happen. Indeed, indeed. So Tony is out tanking at the moment. We're going to see if he can use that to his advantage as he comes down the left here for an attack let's see how zane responds to this tony backs off does not want to take that engagement as tony is on three war factories so he's a war factory ahead of zane not really hitting zero he's like a perfect balance now as he gets another oil out i like tony's build and uh yeah man I, they're I, staring at each other they're going back and forth I'm, I'm feeling good i'm excited this is gonna be i think we're in for a real treat with this series this is this is looking really nice so far um and i like zane protecting his stretch you know if you're gonna do the stretch build um you leave a lot of gaps in your armor and i like these these sanctioned off uh oh. bunkers nice bunker oh. yep tony pays a couple oh, rhinos for that little engagement thinking. that was not that was not nice for tony you don't attack battle bunkers no reason for that don't attack battle bunkers. Not Grab when there's rhinos around. Grabs the pumpkin. Nice little conscript split running into a deso top left. Not going to get much done. Like where his head's at. And Zane does pull a monkey. We'll see if he noticed. I was watching the stream from the other day. And someone in the chat mentioned it. I didn't notice it. But it was like a big match. And there's one monkey just attacking the tanks the entire time. And no one notices. It's funny because the units don't automatically <laughs> attack him. Okay. So Zane pushing in now. Oh, Zane. Oh. Nice chain reaction hit. Oh, and, and wow. Tony. Tony losing a lot of tanks in a bad wow. spot now and tony calls gg he had some desos he could have started droning but um he wasn't going to come out on top and, and tony calls uh. gg first one goes to zane yeah sorry i like that i like that i like that okay um first one goes to zane i've unfortunately uh something just came up i gotta leave you man snark you're killing me all right sounds good man talk to you later yeah um okay uh in the chat in the chat in the chat legend glad you like glad you like the intro man not enough to get you to play in my tournament but i'm glad you like it nonetheless um yeah berg you want to hop in here real quick duo chat password 11 
Hello. Berg. How's it going? Good, 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 man. Hold on, let me adjust your audio. I have to boost uh, Snark so much. Okay, wait. Say something. Uh, what's up? Okay. Tell me who you uh, think is going to win this match. Burger. Why can't I hear you right now? Berg. Your face isn't lighting up, so I don't think you're talking. I don't think... I feel like I just did nothing that would have muted you. Come on, Berg. Uh, I, said, uh, I said I had to be right back. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Wait, so tell me who you think is going to win the series. I'm going to adjust your audio. Uh, I think Zane is going to win. He just won the first game. Yeah, but I only saw half of it. That's there you go. But so, can you go ahead and start the second game? I'll be I'll be back in like five minutes. Something came up for me too. Uh, something's coming up for everyone. All right, fine. I'll be back in like five minutes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. All right, guys. So now we got allied versus allied. Andy, are you messing with me, man? Are you messing with me? You know I got the info on the right side of the screen for you, buddy. You know I'm looking out for you. You know I'm taking care of you. Info, right side of the screen, always. All right, so now we're switching over to Allied versus Allied. Zane taking home that first win, Soviet versus Soviet, uh, but but close. Uh, Tony had a good look. Tony had a nice build. Tony's clearly been playing some Blitz, playing the map a little bit, uh, which is good. Um, yeah. Andy. Andy saying that the person who wins the first wins the series 70% of the time. That is a not a factual statistic, but I believe it could be something like that. It definitely makes a big difference. All right, so uh, Tony in the top left, Zane in the bottom right. Allied versus Allied. So uh, Tony goes super early AFC and going to get a Rocky and Zane's base immediately. Um, Zane's not going to see that coming. And let's see what Zane has coming. Oh, so Zane brought another oil out, but Tony doesn't attack. He's flying around a little more than I'd like. So Tony should have immediately started shooting that power plant, and he could have maybe got Zane low power. Oh, I thought he'd be out of range, not out of range. Not a great move. Not a great move. All right, okay. So now Tony out. Tony gonna try to do some work with some uh, uh, GI IFVs, get some speed going. Try to do some hit and run missions. Zane now out with some with his Grizzlies. Zane really leaning into its economy again. Uh, that's obviously Zane's mo on this map is to get the oil dirks pumping. Uh, we saw it last game. We saw it this game. A lot of oil, staying busy. All right. So let's see here. Now Tony is broke. Uh, yeah, these GGIFVs, GGIFVs can be nice uh, early on. You can take advantage of their speed, maybe pick on a power plant or something like that, combine it with a paradrop, get something done, but they're hard countered by Grizzlies, but in, doing nice work with that paradrop down in the bottom. That was good. Teamed up with those Grizzlies, took the AFC, uh, but now Zane out with his own Rockies, and Tony does not have any of his own air defense. Both players now broke, but Tony up on tanks, or Zane up on tanks. Uh, Tony does not have any air defense either. He needs to undeploy an IFV and deal with those Rocketeers. And then, um, and Zane grabs, Zane grabs that pumpkin. Nice power up there. I'm back. Berg. Looks like Tony has two War Factors on three oils, but that's not going to be able to sustain. Yeah, he, he did the same thing last game. He brought out two War Factories that he wasn't able to sustain, and, uh, and, and now it looks like he's... Kind of throwing the towel here. Um, yeah, brought a couple early Rockies out, which never works. It's gotten some work done with a paradrop. The first paradrop got work done. This paradrop's going to get a little bit of work done. But um, Zane is also broke, though, which is nice. On five oil, so he won't be broke for long. But Yeah, Berg, we'll see. I think uh, Zane, Zane's looking pretty strong. I'm excited for you and Zane's. Uh, I think it'll be you and Zane in the championship, and it'll be interesting to see that rematch because... Uh, so how do, how do these brackets work exactly? 
Well, it's it's round robin, so everyone plays each other once, and then the uh, and then the players with the most wins play each other in the championship. If you were telling me like my next game would be like a best of thirteen or something, I was like, hmm. uh, the championship's a best of thirteen. Path bringing the raid, and Zane picks up another win. Do, 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 do. What path? Thanks for the raid, Path. Um, Berg, you want to hop in here? Password 11. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... So, yeah, anyway, Berg, I'm saying if you and Zane played each other again, it would be in the championship, and then the championship is... Uh, Am I best. playing again tonight, or no? Uh, maybe. Who else do you have to play still? I haven't played Tony or Ed. Oh, so you could play Tony tonight if Tony wants another match. So we, you could play Tony tonight. All right. Uh, all right. So, now we'll see what happens here. Uh... So now, so the loser takes Soviet now, so it's Soviet versus Allied. So Tony with Soviet, this is a match uh, you'd like to win. Well, on the Almo map, it was very decisive. Soviet versus Allied was a big advantage. On this map, now players have realized they can kind of turtle with Allied, and um, which has been fun to see because Allied isn't an automatic loss. So we'll see what we'll see what Tony tries to do. I'd like to see him push, um, try to make something happen, take home a win. Yeah, I'd like to see if you can get greedy with these oils, try to build more. Yeah, from Tony, you'd like to see more oils? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Berg, now if we, on the next map, if we do a power-up crate in the middle that gives a single-use genetic mutator, you don't think that would, would players use that? Like, would players use the brutes? Like, are brutes better fodder than conscripts, Oh, it, right? would, it would give you a mutator one time use. Yeah, so it would just be like, it, you know, it just give you a single, it's like a single-use sing, super weapon, yeah. It would probably just be used to mutate the enemies like pair drops in their base when you're attacking. Them. Right. So, because an allied it'd be, player, it'd be pretty overpowered, most likely. It would be overpowering. Probably. Yeah. I mean, just... they wouldn't be able to use pair drops as, de as defense because they would just get turned into enemy brutes at any time. Oh, so it would pretty much hard counter. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, Tony, getting some work done. Right in a pillbox, couple GGIs to counter. And now Zane with a couple Grizzlies. I like that early push though. That would be nice. So Tony, Tony needs to grab the pumpkin here. Yep, full health. I like that little split. Joining up with the conscripts, we can make something happen here. I'm feeling good for Tony. Time to push. Deal with the pillboxes. Deal with the fodder. We would probably want to add a countdown to the crate so the players know when it's coming, then they can kind of plan for it. Yeah. So I think we can. At the moment, it's kind of random. Yeah. There's also seems to be something happen where that monkey doing work. <laughs> Uh, and Tony, so Tony now could grab the pumpkin again. It looks like Zane's going for it, though. Oh, 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 grab that pumpkin, Tony, and then push. And then push. Okay, so now Zane out with some Rocketeers. If he could snipe an oil right here, that might be good. Might be able to snipe the MCV. MCV's a good hit, too. Is he, yep, nice. All right, now pull out. Now he's not he doesn't have a flak to deal with this Rocky. I'd like to see one flak come out, although Zane's only on one Rocky, it's okay. Um Yeah, so uh so the timer so sometimes, Berg, I feel like the pumpkin will come and then And then I think like the timer is set so that then it comes right like someone will grab it and then it'll come right again. You know, so it's not, the timer is set on its own thing. It's not like once the pumpkin's taken, it comes in 90 seconds later, right? Right, yeah, it's on an independent timer. And the engineer running, nothing to do, can't take over buildings anyway. Zane calling out the militia, has a has a sniper for some reason. Zane trying to get a little reckless here, but I like Tony staying composed, brings out the Deso. Um, yeah. Tony should be able to take this one home. <laughs> Tony's got a monkey helping him out in the bottom right. And Zane quits out. Tony takes home the win. 
think Zane just needed some better defense there. Yeah, I think as an allied player, that's just the whole mo. You know the Grizzly, you know the Rhinos are going to be on your doorstep. Um, you got to get you you got to get. He kind of just let the Rhinos come to his MCV. Like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, you got to get the pillboxes. Well, you got to you can't do like the normal thing where you build a pillbox, sell it. You know, you got to start building pillboxes and have them in your base as part of a permanent defense. I think that's what we've seen work a little bit better. Um, yeah, I mean, and Zane's infantry wasn't even near his MCV. It was by the War Factory, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't a very. It wasn't. Yeah, up up to one. I think he was kind of like Allied versus Soviet sucks. Let's just see if I get lucky, and he did not get lucky. Tony takes it home two one. I don't know. I think Allied's pretty good here versus. So. No, I do. That's and that's why I think too. I think Zane kind of gave. I mean, it's like, once you get the Battle Fortress going, then it's really strong. And because you can turtle in because of that cliff, you know, you can really you can get pretty comfortable in that corner if you start. I mean, I think, you know, spamming the pill, spamming pillboxes, spamming oils. Um, I would say just spamming just infantry in general in your base is pretty good. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose, yeah. Um, yeah, the single-use genetic mutator, so it would hard counter para drops. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. It would, it would be pretty rough on allied. So your allied, it would, it would be countering para drops, and then at the same time, it'd be less valuable because GIs... Like a Soviet player turning a bunch of conscripts into brutes would be good. That'd be better for them. Like their own conscripts. Wait, can you can you turn dogs into brutes? Yeah, I think so. All of them can so you could turn so you could turn a big batch of dogs into brutes. That could be cool. People might do that. The problem is it really hard Probably counters pair drops. It would just hard counter pair. You yeah. can't really make it to be a super weapon. Those are just too strong. Well, we could well we can nerf a super weapon. It'd still be really strong. Well, how, the nuke on Nuketown right now is not very strong. We nerfed the shit out of that thing. <laughs> it doesn't even destroy power plants. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it depends like where the nuke lands because it has like this area of effect damage. If it like directly lands on power plant, it should kill it. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, but I, I really like, I like the single hit power. I mean, I really like the single hit crates. Like I really like how this health crate, the, the what it's adding to the game. So I'm just trying to get a little creative for next month. Uh, like Andy said, yeah, Andy said you're doing a nuke that would be nerfed. Um, the, the nuke nerf, though, once you nerf it enough that it doesn't completely shift the game, it's kind of like weird and anticlimactic. Anyway, we'll brainstorm. Could do a really short Iron Curtain uh, or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right, grabs the pumpkin. So let's see. Tony? So Tony just trying to defend himself with Grizzlies. So Tony's on two wars and two oils. I don't know who taught him. Maybe he hasn't played much of this map yet, but oils don't give you that much money. <laughs> no, no, no. Zane is on two war factories now. Oh, Zane, what's he doing? Yeah, that was weird because Tony was the one who had been doing that, and then Zane said, yeah, "Hey, I it was Tony. Zane said, hey, look what's not working for the enemy. Let me try it." <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can't do you can't do two war factories on on two oils, even three. I like, I, mean, I like to just start spamming oils. Be pretty easy. Yeah, I think I really think, and I think we're gonna see that more and more. We've seen the players do that more and more. Uh, and then spam wars later in the game. Yeah, but I think building, getting those initial oils pumping is so big, and we, uh, we've seen you do, you know, build three, four before, you know, and, and I think that's, uh, yeah. I think that's a really big move. I think we'll see more and more players do that. Yeah, Zane now with a lot of rhinos, but I, you know, I would like to see some, some preventive, like, some proactive pillboxes or GGIs, um, these monkeys are really hating these tanks right now. I know, it's so funny. It's funny how your units, only the unit being attacked will target it, so his buddies won't help him. Oh, yeah. But now Zane's on five oil. So Zane's on five Versus oils now. four. Tony. But I feel like Zane could be pushing with oh, these well, rhinos. Oh, this oil might go down. Here. Yeah, and Tony's going to snipe an oil. Oh, and it chain reacts, so it starts damaging, and Zane distracted with that para drop on the side. I'm Zane sure. brought all of his tanks to a para drop. That was oh, crazy. that was actually, that was nice. Zane grabbed that. Yeah, that was weird. Zane did grab a um, a pumpkin, which healed that oil, so saved an oil. But oh. now Zane pushing in, and a lot of tanks. Pillbox, pillbox, pillbox. Maybe a prism. Do we have a prism coming? Tony's on some money. Get those GIs to the front lines. He just needs to hold out here. He took Tony took a big bite there, destroying some of those oils. But oh. get this oil it kills two oils. Yep, and then it just and, it and those three oils at the bottom are all in a like a combo right there. Too. Yep, it would take the MCV too. Yeah, Tony needs to be careful with his oil builds. He's letting him chain react too much. Um, Tony uh, Zane really slipped up there and, and gave Tony let Tony take a nice hit on the bottom right. We just needed. Uh, we needed Tony to, uh, to to defend himself a little bit more. Allied versus Soviet, both these players clearly haven't been uh, watching it much because you 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 turtle. I mean, you you need to get you need to get your defenses out. The Rhino Storm is coming, 
and uh, you need to be prepared for it. So now we have Soviet versus Soviet again. All right, Zane did take home the first one. Let's see what we'll see what Tony's learned. Yeah, that was too bad. Zane made Zane made some some pretty sloppy moves early on. If Tony wasn't able to capitalize. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, Tony needs to get a little bit uh, more protective with his oil builds. Kind of stressing me out. He's he's letting him chain react too much. Got to be a little more careful with that. Yeah, it's just hard with the crate bonuses because there's not that many. Like a lot of them are like two OP, you know, like the one that gives veteran tanks. Like that would be that would be completely shifting if if, if someone got that with their five tanks, you know. So I'm yeah. just trying to think. Like the health crate one is cool. It's kind of difficult. A lot of the other ones are a little too overpowering. There's or, also like money, but I don't know. yeah, the money. Boring, yeah, the money. The money would be kind of interesting. Um, I guess early game it'd be kind of busted. 2K right at the start. Yeah. Well, you, so, could, you could have it spawn like later. In the yeah, that's true. It could come later. Yeah. All right. So Tony, Tony gonna for die for this war, war factory. There's sentry gun just blasting him in the face. Another sentry gun. Oh, okay. He does. He does get it. now. Pull that other rhino out. No reason for him to be there. All right. I like that for Tony. Needs to bring that other rhino in to help out. So the each have three oils, but Tony has a war. So somehow he came out ahead in oils too. Or yep. amount of oils and he killed the war. Yep, yep, that's 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 nice. So Tony Tony looking good here, just needs to be careful. No reason to take too much damage from those random conscripts. Zane now bringing out some conscripts. Zane has a lot more money, and Tony brings out a second war factory on three oils. And he's broke. So Yeah, I don't know why he's doing that. I, I, I feel like Oh, needs the pumpkin. Doesn't get it? Okay. Pulls through the Zane's mode. got these drones to try and defend. Yep. They're doing pretty good. Yep, loses another yeah, rhino. Scaring him away, anyways. Yeah, and that's that's good. That's a good move for Zane. Slow it down a little bit. Got the sentry gun out. Tony should be able to keep sacing his tanks. What's that word, Andy? So now quite a bit up on rhinos. Just needs to to deal, to to manage them. Yep. Click, 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 click. All right. Now what are we gonna do? Oh, now what are we gonna do? Don't pull the monkeys. All right. Go time, uh, Zane. Twice as many tanks right now. Twice as many tanks, but Zane's got some conscripts, and he's got a sentry gun. And Tony not loving the way he's managing this right now, but should be able. I would just get away from the sentry guns now. I, I you know. There should oh. be a pumpkin coming pretty soon. I don't know. Yeah. All these tanks. You don't need to pull all the way back, Tony. You know, there's other. There's so many sides. Zane has a very long base right now. I would like to see this this group of tanks just stay mobile. Start looking for gaps in the armor. Pumpkin out. Got the health crate. Yep. Nice. One tank way out of position. Now a, a big group of drones. And that was smart. I'm not sure. Oh, do you, he only got one out of that. Oh, grabs gets two. Does Tony see it? Tony doesn't know that one tank has a drone in it. More drones coming. Oh, heavily drone now. Yeah, and that was, I'm not sure if Zane did that on purpose or not, but it was nice that he waited till that pumpkin was gone to, uh, to hit the drone. All right, now Zane with a, with a little. Oh, lose it, man. Just getting so heavily drone and not managing it. Well, pumpkin, pumpkin down, pumpkin down. Oh, Zane, Zane snipes the pumpkin. And these conscripts doing work on the top side. Oh my goodness, going on a quest. And the elite conscript heavily droned right now. Oh my god. Loses wow, all, like, all of his tanks. Lost all of his tanks to the drones. Look at Zane's infantry right here. And Zane, so Zane going straight infantry right now, forcing Tony, to, forcing Tony to bring out his own infantry. Wow, that is really interesting. So that's a nice move, right? So you're down on tanks. 
you're out tanked, so you start spamming drones and you try to win the battle with infantry. That's very interesting. No radar out for Tony Tony's now. Tony's got his own infantry at the bottom. Yep, Tony's on his own quest with the conscripts. Oh, so Tony does now. Tony will bring a deso right there. Watch that deso. Yep. Yep, that was a perfect move. Got uh, saw the infantry coming, got the radar out, but just getting ravished by these drones right now. Oh my goodness. Tony about to march his own conscripts through the radiation. I think Zane uh, might be able to make a comeback here. Tony was in the clear lead. And Tony has 15,000. Yeah. I think, and, I think he forgot to build at some point. The and that's the problem. At this point in the game, when you got 15K, something well, is these oils are all bad really chain reaction. Yeah. yeah. All four. Where's the Deso? Why not deploy the Deso? Tony calls GG. Kind of a throw right there. That's too bad for Tony. Yeah, and, that's, and, it's, and it's tricky, too, because, you know, when someone... You know, when someone makes a comeback, usually there's a player making some mistakes. But at the same time, uh, Zane did a lot of things right. Like, that was as much of a lesson in how not to throw as a lesson in um, how to make an epic comeback. Uh, you know, using those drones, right. bringing out the conscripts. The I really like that. But, yeah, Tony definitely. Uh, Is did, it 4-1 to one now? Yep, 4-1. So, match point for Zane. Allied versus allied. Oh, sacking Andy. Okay, I got you. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, just just continuously diving on the War Factory. Yeah, yeah. I really, um, I was, I that was really interesting. Zane really made good use of everything at his disposal. Um, but Zane just clearly, clearly showing up a little bit more right now. Clearly more comfortable with the format and just outspeeding him. And like you mentioned, Berg, you know, when you see at the end of the game, when you're on 15k, it's not a good thing. It doesn't mean you have a great economy. It means that you've stopped doing something. Because as soon as you get over 6, 7k, especially end game, you need to be spamming infantry, spamming tanks, building buildings. Uh, and when you hit 15k, it means you were sleeping at the wheel a little bit. So, yeah, it's defi definitely difficult to do because, I mean, there's obviously so much going on. Yeah, it's, it is hard. It is hard. We see a ring yeah. all over the place. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's not easier said than done. And obviously, um, yeah. you know, we've seen a lot of players, even top-level players, struggle with that because, and in Blitz, everything's a little bit quicker. So it is difficult, but that's what it takes. Yeah, and the, I think the build speed is also higher on Blitz. So I don't have to do that. Wait, is it higher? Did you turn it up? <laughs> what do you no, mean you think? I think it think? is turned up. Yeah, it's like 0. 0.5 versus 0. 0.7. Wait, what? You, you. I mean, you made the map. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, that's that's how extra small always is. I think we just took it from the original. I think it's I think it's point five. I can double check. Oh, that's hilarious! I didn't know that. I think I think we've just been copying it over from the existing. Oh, we just kept duplicating. That's hilarious. Well, that's great. You do build pretty fast. I could double check. Well, I was pretty sure it's like point five. It's funny. It's funny if you would just been like, yeah, you called it blitz. I figured I better turn up the speed. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realize that the small maps normally did that. Actually, someone said that. I think Andy said that a long time ago. He thought it was faster, and I just ignored him. Um, all right. So now Tony trying to take advantage of some speed. Moving he got quick. some heal on the health rate, but yep. Zane defending pretty well. Yep, a lot he of... Like a yep, a lot, a lot of, of pillboxes. Pill a lot of pillboxes. That monkey, shoot the monkey for the love of God. Okay, good. Imagine if those were brutes in the middle, not monkeys. <laughs> You'd be scared to send in your tank. Yeah. Just gets beat up immediately. Make it worth it. Should be, like, it, should be, it should be brutes next time. Yeah, like that one one tank makes the sacrifice. Yeah, just gets beat up. Worth it to save his comrades though. Alright, I like hey, I like what we got going on from Tony right now. Tony's looking fast. He's doing some splits. He's showing up right now. Zane oh, murdering trying monkeys. To kill this Air Force command. Yep. Oh, well. Oh, uh, Prism down. Tower. Okay, a little in and out. Take advantage of the speed. I like that. But it's not uh, not looking great for Tony, but... Zane not liking these monkeys. I'll take these out. Yep, sends the Rockies to kill the monkeys. He could undeploy that IFV and go pick on those Rockies. So Zane is now up in oil. Five yep. Oh, six to four. Six okay, to Okay, so now he's using those IFBs to kill those Rockies. Yeah. Uh, out tanked here. Needs to pull back to his pillbox. I'd like to see a good pillbox. Maybe a prism. Uh, a lot nice... of Rockies by Tony. Those are pretty nice. Oh, players. yeah. Nice Rockies. Oh, no IFB in that group. And he's also got, a, in the base. also got a pair drop to deal with. Those Rockies should get some damage done. Oh, going to snipe that AFC. I like that. I like that. 
Now what's he go for? Okay, now IFB come and pull those Rockies. Or pretend like you're going to pull the Rockies. Okay, now pull the Rockies. Air Force Command sometimes stronger? Shouldn't be. <laughs> have to check the patch now. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah, intended, Andy, it's Blitz. It? Don't you know anything? It's, it's twice as fast, and the AFC is ten times stronger. <laughs> it shouldn't be. GIs aren't weaker. It should be Yuri. No, the GIs have been doing work. Okay. Yeah, it take a while to kill that. <laughs> Using the Eagles here, but these IFBs are going to kill them. Yeah, not, and it's just too many IFBs. Um, yeah. An eagle for an IFB is not something we want to do, especially if there's a bunch of them. All right, now both players gearing up for the base battle here on the left side. Andy, what have I told you? We need a limit. Remember what I told you? You, you can have four messages for every one other message. And then when you hit your limit, you have to wait till someone else says something before you can say four more things. Uh, not looking good here. Severely out. Severely out Grizzly. Losing the prism battle. And that'll be it, folks. Tony calls the GG's and takes home the series. Yeah. <laughs> Valentino. Yo, yo, yo. All right. Wow. Zane looking pretty decisive here.